tennis leg a specific kind of calf injury mostly related to sports it was described by powell a long time back around 1883 it typically involves a tear of the myotendinous junction of the medial head of gastrocnemius or the plantaris both the find- findings may be found in isolation or together they may be either myofascial or tendinous the most common mechanism responsible for this injury is extension of the knee and forced dorsiflexion of the ankle patient typically suddenly feels a sharp pain in the posterior aspect of the calf with a sensation of something snapping and giving away within the calf there is focal tenderness and swelling sometimes clinically the gap can be felt here we see the normal anatomy of the plantaris the gastrocnemius muscles forming the calf plantaris is a very very thin muscle arising from the lateral supracondylar ridge of the femur above the lateral head of the gastrocnemius it has a long tendon which runs along the calf and inserts into the achilles tendon deep to the gastrocnemius tendon we must remember that in many patients and many persons rather the plantaris may be developmentally absent also the typical mri findings involve a elliptical chink of fluid deep to the medial gastrocnemius superficial to the soleus this is classical sometimes focal disruption of the muscles can be seen there may be associated edema in the surrounding muscles we can often see a retracted plantaris tendon if we carefully follow that entire chink of fluid here are some examples in the label diagrams so there is medial head of gastrocnemius that is the retracted plantaris tendon nicely seen the chink of fluid seen the retracted plantaris tendon again seen there are some axial views showing the fluid the typical location between the gastrocnemius and the soleus and the retracted plantaris again seen the treatment is basically conservative management partial weight bearing rest ice compression gradual elevation and exercises as prescribed and suggested by the orthopedician and a follow up once the patient heals